Despite being mostly cut off from the outside world, COVID cases are surging inside of California's prisons. That includes at Donovan Correctional Facility in Otay Mesa. Families of inmates say they are concerned nothing is being done to stop the spread or protect their loved ones. Tonight, News 8's LaMonica Peters talks to a local prisoner advocate about that recent spike in cases and how she hopes to spark change. Both inmates and staff are contracting coronavirus at alarming rates at California state facilities. The state says they're taking precautions, but one local activist says the inmates are telling her a different story. We're families out here that have incarcerated loved ones in there, and we don't want them to die. In the last 14 days, 250 inmates at the Richard J. Donovan Correctional Facility have tested positive for COVID-19, and eight inmates have died from contracting the virus. Mary Estrada says she's been pushing the state to get control of the outbreaks. She says her husband, who's incarcerated at Donovan, has tested positive for coronavirus. I'm going to believe the inmates because they live there. Um, Donovan, they've dropped the ball. They failed to take care of our loved ones from the start because when the pandemic hit in March, they should have had, when I say they, CDCR, should have implemented a plan. As of January 3rd, there were 139 inmate and 11 staff deaths linked to COVID-19 across the state. Another 140 incarcerated people have also been sent to local hospitals. I want CDCR to be held accountable for the negligence that they've done because this is all them, it's not the visitors. I want them to stop the transfers so this way the spreading will stop. Estrada says she plans to hold rallies near Donovan to bring more awareness. The Department of Corrections released a statement saying in part, RJD is following isolation and quarantine protocols per public health and health care guidance for the incarcerated population and has designated separate isolation units. Additional staffing resources are being redirected to RJD to offer immediate assistance with operations and or health care. The statement also says that as of January 3rd, the staff at Donovan will be tested twice a week. And if anyone tests positive, they will not be allowed into the prison and they will have to quarantine immediately. LaMonica Peters, News 8.